All right, all right. Good evening and good night, and welcome to the HR Perspective Talk Show podcast. It is uh, July 8, 2022. We are back. We took a couple weeks off, uh, and we, but uh, we're back tonight. We're doing a special Friday night show. Uh, we got a special guest on here. But first, let me just say that uh, you can see this broadcast on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Facebook and YouTube, just search for HR Perspective Podcast. On Twitter, we are known as VI Perspective. Tap into that. Link us up there. Uh, we're on every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're doing a special show tonight. We usually Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays are our normal days. 8 p.m. AST. Our telephone number is kaput. Still having some technical issues trying to get that worked out. The stream tonight is brought to you by uh, brought to you via StreamYard. Uh, be sure to click like, share, uh, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, Got to hail up Bingy Soup. Bingy Soup, still on special assignment. Rastafari lives. Also want to give a quick shout out to CHS class of 82. That's the year that Soup and I are representing. And also to the classes of the 80s, uh, much success to you. Uh, what else we got? Our prayers and his blessings equals one perfect love. Our prayers and his blessings equal one perfect love. So on that note, man, we do have a special guest in the studio tonight, man. There he is right there. Howard Peter is my brother. How are you? Hi, good evening. How are you doing tonight? All right, man. We are live and direct coming to you from the sunny island of St. Croix, Virgin Islands. Let's big up this place for sure, man. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to get you on the show. Um, a mutual friend of ours said, hey, this guy will be a great guest. He's doing all kind of stuff. And uh, you, the guy she was talking about. So we got you on here. Thanks for coming out and being on the show with us. Uh, uh, so you're a music, you're a, you're a music educator. Um, and uh, you also write books too, right? Do you, That's right. I'm also an author. You're also an author. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, so let's, let's start from the beginning, man. So you're, obviously you're pretty young because you just got out of school here in 2017. Uh, yeah, no, so what, that's when I graduated from uh, from UVA. I got my bachelor's in 2017, got my master's oh, in 2021. Okay, okay. So yeah. uh, where, did it, where did this all start? I mean, as far as like, you know, you know, author and music, where, where did the whole vibe of music come from? Did, from your parents? Yeah, so, cool. um, so back in um, high school, I was in the, I was in the marching band. And so I got into music, I got into music there. Mm. Um, I started music when I was in elementary. Um, but I took a I took a break. I stopped doing that um, for external reasons, and then I, I picked it back up in high school. Okay. So um, from there, I started to play the drums, and I, I got really in touch with. It. I really loved that. Um, at first, I wasn't too good, um, but you know, just like the different influences from my family, my teachers, and stuff, but I kept with it, and I stuck mm -hmm. with it. Um, and then that's when I knew like this is what I want to do. I want to do music. And so okay. I went to St. Thomas uh, UVI campus, studied with uh, Dion Parson. Uh, and that's where I got my music education degree. And uh, after that, I started to teach at Ala Muller, Ala Muller Elementary School, okay. uh, St. Thomas. Yes. And taught there for about two years. And then I said, I want my master's, I want to you know, further my education. So at that point in time, I went to uh, Orlando and I went to UCF. Okay. Um, University of Central Florida. Okay. Yep. And actually, that's where I, that's where I first started getting into um, writing books. Um, so I am I am an artist, um, music wise. I have I have music. I have a single out right now on our, on our streaming platforms, and I'm actually working. Um, oh, okay. On album that I plan to put out this summer, but it, before the summer's finished. Um, okay. But that, I do do that. Um, but I I got into writing. Uh, but becoming an, becoming an author uh, very recently, actually about, I think, two years ago now. Um, uh, probably, yeah, about two years ago now. Uh, me and my friend, we were playing video games, and he's a, he, I think you've heard of him before, Johansson Henley. He's actually a, a, a published, a self-published author, uh, author. Yes, yes. And he's published on, on numerous children's books. And um, he was he was talking about, you know, he needed some reading material to, um, to, to get some more, uh, information, you know, experiment and research. So I was okay. talking about some books that I've read in, that I read in my youth. Okay. He he was saying, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then I, I pitched him the idea. Um, hey, there's a book. There's a book that I that I think 
would be pretty cool. So this is a book idea that I had in mind. Um, mm -hmm. Me and my cousin, Mikhail Peterson. So um, on the front, on the covers of the books, you'll see uh, two names. Uh, you'll see my name. This is the most recent book we published. You'll see my name and you'll see my cousin's name. Uh, Mikhail okay. Peterson. Uh, okay. I'm the main author and, and he's my co-author. Um, All right, Howard, 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 slow down a little bit, man. You, yeah, you said sorry, a lot bro. here. So let, let, let's get back to the single. You, so you're you singing? What are you rapping? You singing? I mean, what's going on? Oh, there? so um, I am a, a tra traditional musician. So I'm not I'm not a, I'm not an artist that um puts out lyrics and stuff like that. I I um I do um just music by itself. Um, okay. Uh, people will probably know that as like be more able to connect with it if I say instrumental. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's it's music. So with music without uh, lyrics is you know it's, with, with it's, vocals, it's, yeah, with no, without right. vocals. Yeah, without vocals, correct. Um, yeah. So, but actually, the single that I put out actually does have vocals on it. Um, so it's a bit different from the usual stuff I do. Um, traditionally, a jazz musician. Um, so when I do gigs and stuff like that, I perform uh, performed in a bunch of different places in the states: Orlando, Maine. Uh, performed in New York. Uh, okay. Performed in the Virgin Islands, all of the Virgin Islands, uh, from like high school and stuff like that. Just performing okay. around different places. Uh, okay. But this single that I have out, I wrote, I wrote this song for the a band that I was in uh, called the Shutdown Band, um, that originated in St. Thomas. Okay. And so we, I got the music together. I was, I said, guys, 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 we need to, we need to do this. We need to play this song. We need to, that I wrote. Uh, and I said we could probably have. Uh, our our uh, vocalist at one of our vocalists at the time, who was a rapper, I was like, you could probably rap on this. So okay. the song came out of, as like this uh, this modern type of funk 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 song. Um, and if you hear it, it, it just sounds um, just sounds totally different from what you normally hear, especially from a Virgin Islander. Oh um, man, you so, should you should you should have sent me the MP3, man. I would oh, love to yeah. hear that song. I we, can, we, can, we can play music on the show. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, but sure. um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll uh just make sure you tell everybody like you know whatever wherever you're streaming that from Spotify or yeah, it's on Amazon. it's on all major streaming platforms right now, so you can check okay. it out on Spotify, you can check it out on YouTube Music, Apple Music, um, okay. iTunes, all that different stuff. It's there. Uh, it'd be a big support if you guys uh go and purchase purchase the single. Uh, so 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 what is, what is it called? It's called Philly, F I double L E T. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. By Howard Peters, and so you'll find out if you Google that, it'll pop up. If you put it in in the different streaming platforms, it'll also pop up. Okay. Um, yeah. So, but are you, are you so you, are you like a producer? You are you playing instruments? Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm um, on the on that single, I'm playing drums. I primarily play um, drums and um, also vibraphone or I'm a percussionist. So I play. Um, okay, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, a lot of different instruments and in that plethora. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, but primarily uh, drums. So I'm playing drums on the single. Okay, um, I got you. Yeah, I'm not one to like make lyrics, uh, but I definitely do. I, I put together music. Um, but again, I, I'd say for it to be more uh, connected with the audience, instrumental. Okay. So it, yeah, you know, music without. Uh, without but I wouldn't say I'm a producer because a lot of um, producers make their their music uh, with technology, like on a computer. Okay. A lot of my music is done with live instruments. Live instruments, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, you know, that's what you know. They said the best music is live music. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, well, let's go, man. Make sure everybody uh, that's tuned in uh, will be tuned in. Uh, go ahead and get his song. Uh, you said it was called Filet. 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 It's on right. all streaming platforms. Check him right. out. Support. Support the brother, man. So let's uh, let, let's get into now. Let's get into you. Um, I guess it says here that you're also a you. So you teach music too. That's correct. I'm music. Let's let's talk a little bit about that. So you you obviously went to school for that. So you're teaching music over there in rock. Yeah, yeah. I teach, okay. I teach in rock. I teach in rock. Okay. Um, I, I mean I've been teaching like just different private lessons all over the, the islands. I taught in Saint Croix when I first started, uh, and then taught it at the elementary school in rock, all at Muller Elementary, and then okay. now, now I'm at uh, BCB. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Um, so I mean, what is were you teaching like um, you know, like elementary or junior or high school? So I I've taught all all those levels. I've taught all those levels before. Um, uh -huh. taught more high school when I was doing um, you know, like 
when you're about to graduate, you need to go get some experience and hands-on experience. So yes. I, I dealt with a lot of high school students during that point in time. Um, all okay. of my life, of course, elementary school. Um, okay. And they like, had um, band, um, primarily a band teacher. So okay. again, not good with the um, with the lyrics and stuff like that. So you wouldn't find me in a choir situation. <laughs> no, I got you. you find me teaching choir. Um, <laughs> So I teach uh, the beginning instruments like flute, clarinet, trumpet, uh, chorus, percussion instruments like the drum, snare drum, bass drum, okay. uh, all saxophone. Those different instruments, you'll, you'll find me in a classroom uh, teaching, getting a student. And, and you, you can play all of those too? I'm at a basic level. I wouldn't call, okay. I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't call myself a saxophonist. Okay. I wouldn't call myself a, a trumpeter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But okay. at a basic level, uh, to help somebody understand and get ready to play those, for sure, yeah. I could do that. Okay, so uh, you, you so you you must be inspiring a lot of young lives. Uh, I believe maybe, so. Um, you know, some young kid that comes in there that really doesn't know what to do. He's in your class. He's like, "Wow, music! I, you know, I can be a great saxophonist." Or you know, I mean, it's wide open at that point. You know. Yeah, I mean that's the dream. You know, just like kind of like, just kind of influencing and inspiring. Um, you know, our young younger version Islanders. Uh, I know, and I'm young, but the younger, even younger than me. <laughs> uh, things like what I'm doing, and you know, just get just getting started on, on the right path. Okay, okay, well, that's good, man. M music is uh, is, is uh, so I guess it's music class. Is, is I guess is what they still call it these days, right? Yeah. Um. So it, I mean, it kind of branched off. So like, uh, maybe a music class might just have like the beginning theory, like you know, whole note, quarter note, you're just kind of figuring stuff out, here's the stuff, chuckle clip. Okay. Um, and then there's band. Um, okay. So you're actually learning, you know, instruments. Okay. And, and our, our school has um some really uh, some really good programs, you know, choir and steel pan and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good man. Um. So let's talk a little bit too about. Uh, I guess you said self-published his first book, your first book, with your cousin Michael Peterson. Yeah, Mikhail Michael, Peterson. Yeah, uh, Mikhail Peterson and Cam and the Shadow Within. Yeah. That's the first book. Okay, that's the book that you were showing us, right? Uh this uh this is actually the the I want to say the third book we published. Uh, but it's actually so we did book one. Okay. Um, book two part one. I have here. Book two okay. part one. And then this is book two part two. Uh, okay. So that, that was the third one we, we published. So we broke book two into di into two different parts. And um well, First, so, so what, what, what is Cam the Shadow? What is this about? Okay, so the first book, the, the name of the series, because it's a book series, the name of the series is called Cam, Stories from the Isles. So like on Facebook and stuff like that, on YouTube, you'll see that's the name of the series. Okay. Um, Cam, Stories from the Isles. The okay. first book, what it's about is basically this um, 15-year-old uh, teen, boy teen, mm. um, that lives on an island called Isle du Mas. Now, mm. Isle du Mas is... Uh, Kind of like a representation of St. Croix. Mm -hmm. And so um, the Isles are kind of a representation of the US Virgin Islands um, and our different like experiences with them. You'll find that some things aren't exact because um, mm -hmm. you know it's still fiction. It's a it's a face of fiction story. It's a fiction. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so what the book is about is Cam finds himself um, making a deal with a Jumbi. And so the oh. Jumbi, yeah, and so the Jumbi sees that Cam is going through a really rough time in school. He's getting um, bullied and he's really a troubled teen. Uh, so the Jumbi is is seeing this and he's telling Cam, hey, you could probably get back at these kids who are making fun of you. And I mean, like what 15 year old, what doesn't want to get paid back on kids that, you know, that are troubling mm -hmm. them. Um, so Cam takes a deal and um, he, he he pranks the kids. Um, of course, the Jumbi is telling them you should be more than prank the kids. You should make them um, wish they were never born. You know, and he's basically trying to steer them into the wrong direction. And you okay. could kind of when you read the book, you could see that um Cam's like nature is um, you know, he's at first he's timid, um, he's a nice person, he's good, and then Jumbi is kind of like telling him to do bad stuff. And he finds himself um kind of tethered to the Jumbi. And so after he pranks the kids, the Jumbi tells him, Well, you know, you need to do something for me. Mm. And that's where it goes, that's where it dives into the book more, and you get to really see um because the Cam verse, you get to really see um what you get into and, and so in the book you have a bunch of different spiritual creatures and uh, monsters and folklore all okay. the so just like how the jumbi is what counts as one of those 
Um, we have different things like uh, uh, the Sukiyan, which is really well known, like Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, okay. Abakwa, same Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we have different stuff like the Doen. Okay. Uh, Chick Charney, that's out to the Bahamas. So we're just using a bunch of different uh, creatures and uh, of folklore into the book and incorporating it into the fiction. So it could tell Cap's story of him being uh, intertwined mm. with, with the Jumbi. You know, the Jumbi is kind of like staring his feet. It's kind okay. of like hit him hearing like all this evil in his ear and him trying to be a good uh, yeah. creature. No. Yeah, you're trying to do the right thing, basically. Exactly. <laughs> trying to do the right thing, man. So you, these three books, they, you know, you, you you know, is it a continuation from one to two That's right. to three? Continuation. In okay. fact, I, right after book one, right, right after book one, um, you see that at the end of book one, you see like this major, major um, cliffhanger. Like the cliffhanger, I can't even explain the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger is um the cliffhanger is so outweigh for you that you just like did the book really just end right there mm -hmm. and so you know it pushes you to go read um the other the other books and so okay. so far we published book two uh part one and part two after that and so okay. was the, that's definitely a continuation okay so uh, you guys have four five and six already kind of like thought out yeah we have uh right now uh we're writing book three and so we already uh, have it planned out ahead where it's probably going to go up to, uh, it could go up to, definitely can go up to five. That's okay. where it's going to go up to, but it could go even more. And okay. well, you could have different um, spin off stories um, that, could okay. that could definitely go into. Okay. And if, correct me if I'm wrong here, that you guys do also do the illustrations too, right? The illustrations are actually done. Uh, we find these people on the internet. Uh, we okay. use like artists and clients. And then they, it's it's really helpful. You just type in, um, you just type in someone's name, or you look at the different catalogs that they have, and if you like what they are doing, then you you you, you do that. Okay. Um, so we use artists and clients, and we use Fiverr. Fiverr. F I V E W R. Yes, I, I use them too for yeah, they, they do a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, flyers and voiceovers exactly. and all this stuff. Yeah. yeah it's a very exactly. easy professional. Yeah. Okay, so and these books are these books are um, available too. Yes, those are definitely global globally distributed. So if okay. you type in um, Howard Peters books or Howard Peters and Mikhail Peterson books, it'll definitely pop up. So all it takes is a Google search. Our books are sold on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Uh, we self-publish with Lulu.com, so okay. it's also on there. Um, the book is all the books are formatted. You can have uh, either a physical copy or an electronic copy. So oh, really? okay. on the physical copy. Got the ebook. Uh, we don't yeah. have any audio books as yet, but okay. that's what we have available right now. Okay. So is, is audio books going down? Because I'm I, you know, I'm a little older. So I remember audio books. You put the tape in, you listen to a whole story in your car driving down the road. Yeah, I mean audio books are definitely story. great. Yeah. I mean, no, I would I would say that more people would probably actually prefer um the audio book so they could just you know listen to it exactly like you said, like in the car. Uh, so that's definitely something that we're gonna work on. For the okay. Future. Okay. Yeah. So, how, how long have the books been out? Um, the first book was published in 2020, so about two years now. Okay. Um, I think it was December. We, well, actually, we finished writing it December or November 2020, and we published that in February 2021. Okay. Um, and so, the second book, or book two, part one, was published. Um, I think it was. I want to say November, okay. November 2021 okay. or December 2021. And then okay. book two, part two was published just recently in May. Okay, I got you. That's good. That's good stuff, no. man. Um, I guess it's, it's well received, I guess, uh, across the board. I mean, I guess you guys can look at uh, like maybe who by region who's purchasing the book. Yeah, we're able to see we're able to see uh, where people are getting the books from. Not able to see too much where uh, our uh, customers are, where they're from, like where, where they're, they're physically at. at. Yeah, where they're physically what? at, um, because it's kind of, kind of confidential. We don't, we don't have like a um, a straight direct uh, connection with with our customers. It's all through you know those distribution. Like um, like websites. borders or all those type type website kind of thing. Yeah, correct. So if you buy something at Amazon, I'm not gonna see you know mm. where you bought it, where you're yeah. gonna get it. Okay. So so what's next for you guys as far as uh 
uh, you know, you're into a lot of things. I mean, what's, what, what do you, what do you see yeah. yourself doing? So, um, Mikael, uh, Mickey, that's his nickname. That's what we call him. My co-author. He actually works, um, in Texas. Um, uh, he does H back. And so, um, he's been, he, he's been doing that throughout the time that we've been writing a book together and, uh, uh, and writing the stories together. You know, so he, he has like a you know a full time job and he's still able to, you know, we're still able to work together um and, and write the stories together. So mm. for him future wise, um I'm I'm not able to say, but he's definitely in, in that field. Mm. Uh, okay. I think he just opened up a business with his uh, friend. They sell um they sell fricos in, in Texas, I think. The the oh. past um carna- the carnival up there in Houston, I believe. Okay. In Texas they, they were um they were doing that. They were selling on free Okay. Stuff. And so, you nice. know, he has, a, he has a good bit of stuff going on also. Um, for um, the project, what we're, we're trying to do is just put out, we're trying to finish the series, of course, because it's a, it's a book series. We're trying to finish the series. And so we're writing book three uh, now, and we're planning to put that out soon in the near future. And we're planning to get up to book five. And we can definitely go into different directions, write okay. and things like that. Um, the the next thing that we're also doing we're actually writing a uh, a comic so the comic or uh, some some people might know it has a, a manga it's Japanese style where it's not in color it's um black and white and okay so the comic we started to do that um December um that just passed December 2021 and so right now we have about uh, two chapters for our comic uh, uh you can read the comic on our Patreon um. Mm. Patreon, if anybody viewing doesn't know, Patreon is um, a platform where someone can um, upload content and their patrons can either subscribe or donate to their cause. And so we have um, our comic on there. So if anybody would like to read that, it's on our Patreon. Um, The link is um, on my Facebook bio. um, And you can also type in Patreon on Google and, um, you know, you can look for, for it that way. Um, is, is that is that um is that uh is that an adult comic book or is that it's it's i wouldn't it's um if it's an adult comic book are you asking if kids are able to read it yeah I mean, you said it's a comic book so i guess can kids kids read it yeah can your kids can read it yeah okay kids, okay it's it's um it's 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 kid friendly um, okay i would say that um you know anybody of any age can can take a read um you know, if you're into that, if you're into like the, the illustrations and stuff like that, yeah, I got you. You can definitely take you. a read. So, I'm, 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 if you look at your screen there, uh, this person just put up a comment. I'm not sure if you know who this person is, but uh, um, literacy is so yeah. important, I guess, is what he's yeah. saying. Yeah, not, I'm not sure who that is. Okay, um, oh, yeah, it is. That is very true. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, what's, what's been so hard with this project is that uh, a lot of people don't read anymore. And so, um, you know, we've been trying to uh, tell our friends, our families, and um, just our customers who do purchase a book. Because, you know, people purchase a book sometimes just to um, support. And, mm. you know, what we're trying to do is just to get the story um, more out there and, you know, just so people encourage people to read. Especially, uh, I don't think I said this, but my kids um, at the school, I take Fridays sometimes to mm. do some reading and I have them. Uh, read the book and check out the book so that they're always like reading or something like that in addition to any uh, school reading that the, that uh, the school has for them okay. to read into there. So they're always like reading and we're always reading, uh, building, reading comprehension. Okay. So, yeah. 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 Um, I want to ask you about, you, you mentioned this guy, this guy's name, he's the famous drummer. Was it Pearson? Uh, Dion Parson. Yeah. Dion Parson. So, I, I've heard of him. I mean, he he's come to St. Croix several times. He plays in, I guess, different bands, right. um, things like that. But I mean, was he was he like a mentor of yours? Yeah, definitely. I think he's a professional drummer too, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, um, okay, that, that's, that's correct. Um, he's, yes, he's my uh, first first mentor. Uh, okay. When, especially when it came to uh, music, um, I just like um, or as a life coach, um, you know, he's been. I, I would say he's had a great influence. Him along um, with my other uh, teacher and mentor in high school, uh, okay. Mr. Ray Hendricks. Uh, okay. um, definitely, definitely had a great in, uh, influence in my growth. So, okay. 
yeah, Dion Parson showed me a lot over at UVI or and before that when I was in high school. Like, still after that. Okay. Was, uh, you know, because he, he's he's an instructor over. He's an instructor, right? A teacher. He's currently the director um, of the music department um, at UVI. So okay. For okay. Campuses, and then he he does teach classes uh, currently on the St. Thomas campus. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. So um, we got a couple. We got a couple more comments here. Um, click that. Look at your screen there. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Aq. A uh, big shout out to Aq, uh, my yeah, brother and wow. cousin. Um, okay. Definitely, definitely been a bigger inspiration to me, and uh, definitely a big supporter of the both of us. Uh, me and oh. Mikael. We're all okay. we're all related. Our first cousin. Okay, I got you. I got you, man. Yeah. Big up to Mr. Johnson there. Uh, so we got another comment there. Whoops, what happened there? There it is. Uh, just yeah. read books. Uh, reading is fundamental. Like you said, pe pe people stop reading, um, you know, for whatever reason. But, I mean, you know, you buy a book, you read it. You sort of engross yourself in the book. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean, that's the part, I guess, that people don't do. Yeah. Um, I guess you just watch all watch all that stuff on, 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 on YouTube or whatever you got, you know? Yeah. Uh, we got we got another uh, another comment here. Yeah. Oh, I keep, was that a tag? Was that a? Uh, that, that's all. That's what the person said. I mean, oh, okay. that's just a comment he made. I don't know if you know who that Mr. Yeah, Hendricks that's, is. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the mentor I was talking about from. High school. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Okay, okay. I guess I guess that's a friendly reminder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, man. Um, you're doing big things, man. Uh, let's see here. So you talked about uh, a competition in Arizona called the Story Monster Book Competition. Yeah, um, you know that was a that was a big. So our our mentor, same mentor for Dr. Bryson, um, with her books, uh, was Johansen Henley. He's the one who told me about that competition uh, right there. We're part of this group called the Island um, Island Book Group. Okay, uh, IBG for short. Island Book Group, and so you know, just a bunch of authors from the Virgin Islands that just you know share uh, works, words of encouragement, and things like that. Um, okay. And so Johansson Henley is the one kind of who mentored most of us into um, self-publishing through that Lulu.com. He's the one who told me about the story book competition. And so basically, okay. what she had to do was um, it was back in February. You had to. Uh, submit an application saying what your book was, um, you know, who are the authors, when did you first publish, things like that. And mm. so they would uh, go through uh, a board of editors and they would review it. And so uh, there was a bunch of different categories that you that you could pick from to enter. And so we we picked two different categories, the cultural diversity and mm. the uh, of fiction. And okay. so we won, we won awards in both of those categories. So it was definitely a big accomplishment um, for us, you know. And it, and it was it was just to show you. And this was a competition in Arizona. This wasn't okay. locally. Uh, this wasn't locally based. Okay. Um, so it just gave us even more confidence in our in our story and our work. Yeah. Um, that so so you 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 have other I guess other kids all over the United States, other young adults, just doing the same thing in this contest. Well, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure uh, what demographic the authors came came from. Actually, okay. So, okay. Um, I, I'm I'm pretty sure that that's not that wasn't it. It was just authors. That okay. Whatever, whatever author. Um, okay. The work to be. Uh, okay, I got you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a certain. Yeah. So talk, so talk talk a little bit too, man. You know, if if, if we got a, a a a young youth man listening to this and wants to be an author. How how does how do how do you how do you uh, how do you start shaping that mind for him to become an author? Is it just as simple as just start making notes? You know, uh, about yeah. I would experiences? say I would say the first thing because I uh, during my I was about to say during my life and it it almost made me sound old. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, my, in my experiences, uh, a lot of people have. If I brought up an idea, a lot of people might have said um, that's not a good idea. Or uh, maybe you should pursue something else. And so I've always took those comments and kind of tried to turn them around. So I would just say to that, that young person who's trying to do that same thing, um, if anybody tells you that you have a bad idea, don't listen to them. Um, if you have an idea that you believe in, that you truly think is a great idea, that you need to um, push forward and whatever you need to do to make that idea happen, 
then you need to make it happen. Especially okay. if, it, if it's um, writing a book, if you have an idea for a book, if, if this inspires you to now write your own story, um, then definitely, like you said, writing notes is is a big thing. Or you yeah. could just start writing the book right out because that same night um, that I was talking to my um, to Johansi Henley, well, that same mm-hmm. night I was talking to Johansi, and he was like, um, you could write, you, you have a story in mind. I, t- I pitched him the idea for the story. I had never written a, a word of the story. And I contacted Mikhail after because um, we had talked about it some years back about mm. uh, writing a story. And so um, I pitched him the idea that same night about the Jumbies and about how the, the guy would have to hold on to his medallion to use his uh, Jumbie powers and stuff like that. And that same night, I started to write the book. So, mm. you know, I would just tell a young person, uh, whatever you have in mind, if it's just writing the book, you can either start to write notes. Uh, if you have ideas, you could brainstorm that way. Or if you have the ideas out uh, in your head already, already flowing, just start writing the book right then and there. Because once okay. you get started, you know, that's that's the hardest part, getting started. Yeah. Did, did, you, did, you, did you yourself have any roadblocks? When you, when you, I guess you know. I guess at some point, I mean, I guess you're a, you're a businessman. You have your books here, there, and and your music. So, I mean, did, did you face any roadblocks coming up through that whole through that whole ranking there? I mean, for me uh, personally, like I was saying, I'm I'm kind of a, a extemporaneous writer. So uh, as soon as I start to type, like that's it, really and truly. Like I I I just go through. I could see everything in my head like a movie. And so I just started to oh, okay. um, write it down that way. And I've written all the books like that. Like I was saying, I'm the main author and my cousin is the co-author. So we come up with like, when he comes up with some of the backstories for the characters and oh. a lot of the powers and different things. So I don't need to think about those things. I just reference his notes. Okay. Go through it, you know. Um, but so that's the type of writer I am. I just start writing and that's it. And thankfully, and I hope this does happen, but thankfully so far in the three books that we've published, I have not, have a, I have not had any roadblocks at all. I've, okay. Uh, not okay. no mental blocks or anything like that. I've always been able to to um, know what's gonna happen next, especially because yeah. I guess you could kind of think um, call this the brainstorming uh, idea. But me and Mikhail, um, we talk about it like on the phone, you know, because he's in he's in uh, Texas. We talk about it on the phone, like what should be the main points of mm. the story or of the book. Yeah, um, this happens here. This is gonna happen in the middle at the end. This is how it's gonna end. And so once we have that together, it's just a straight shot through. Okay. Really, really. So I'm not, I'm, I'm luckily, luckily I'm able to do that. Luckily I have not had yeah. any offensive uh, blocks as yet. I'm hoping yeah. that it does not happen. So, so when you were in high school, I mean, did you excel in English class? I mean, in, in, in this whole thing of writing and, um, and that kind of, kind of stuff, or were, were you, were you in the uh, mechanics class fixing cars, but wanted uh, to be a writer? It's funny. Um, I don't think I don't think I excel at English at all. Um, I think during the last, what happened? Actually, what happened? Um, so in middle school, not good at English or anything like that. But then I, right at the beginning of high school, I just picked up um, the books that I was talking about that I read in my youth. Um, those are the Percy Jackson and Olympians books. There's some movies out now. Um, but basically, it's a story about this kid who finds out that he is um, the son of Poseidon. Um, mm-hmm. So his mom is a human and, and his dad is is a deity. And so mm-hmm. what he needs to do, um, it is a, it's a whole story around that. And so I started to read those books and and I think my my uh, my grammar and my understanding of English and how to put words together really excelled from there. And okay, so okay. I was able to, um, you know, kind of hold myself together throughout that. Um, it's funny because I definitely did not think I would be an author like today. I was... Um, I was playing music and I was also in uh, the electricity class. Um, that was my vocational uh, class in high school. Electricity. Okay. electricity. So I, was, I was doing that. I was so uh, definitely a different career path. <laughs> yeah. I got you. I got you, man. All right, man. Our guest tonight is Howard Peters. He's an author. Uh, he, he's got an instrumental track uh, out there as well. Support that as well. Uh, what else? He's an author. Uh, he, he's a teacher too. He's a teacher, author, right. and, and, and a, a musician. That's, that's pretty right. good, uh, you know, uh, titles to have, I guess. And, and, yeah. And, you know, after it's one's name, you know, Howard Peters, the teacher, the musician, and the author. You know, it, it's on. It's on my business card. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show, man. Uh, Valrika spoke highly of you and. 
I said, I'll, I'll link you up. I did. And you came on here just to share uh, about your stuff. Any, anything in closing that you would like to share with our audience? Um, the, all I would like to say, just recap, you know, if you, if you're interested in the story, um, please get the books, um, come the shadow within come Charles of career Club part book two, part one and part two. Um, you can okay. get those, just Google those. And there's also a comic out, uh, first two chapters are out there. If you, um, like illustration, you can check those out. Um, Definitely. Also, you can support me on the music side. As I was saying, I have a single out called Filet, uh, Purchase Dot. Soon to come album uh, about to be put out this summer. Also, at the, by the end of the summer, so please look. So there's going to be an album of instrumentals. Um, correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, that is correct. And so it's a, okay. it's a bunch of different stuff. The name of the album is called Convergence. So there's some jazz on there. Um, there's some straight ahead jazz. There's some Caribbean influence um, stuff. And there's just okay. some like, out there alternative styles of music so it's okay. going to be really interesting uh, just keep looking out for that okay. uh, anybody that you know that heard this that got inspired thank you that means a lot to me um uh, uh, hope i was able to inspire you uh, if anything that you want to do any idea you have you know just keep pushing um even if anybody tells you different and that, that would be my closing statement all right man howard peters man thanks for coming on the it's your perspective talk show podcast man I told Howard this is episode 466. Soup and I have been grinding hard. Um, yeah, man, you, you, you're doing it big, man. Much success to you. Just keep Thanks pushing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be on the lookout for that instrumental, man. I like instrumentals, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know, yeah, just you vibe on the music and you use your own thoughts to the that's music. That's all you need. Yes, that's exactly. Need. That's all you need, man. Brother Peters, man, be safe. Thank you, and uh, we'll be in touch, man. Thank you for coming you on the too. podcast be tonight. Safe. Uh, we don't have any more shows this week, but we got some shows next week. Tune in for that. All right, we're out. Peace. Peace.